Whoops, I did it again. And this time, my quad exploded into a million pieces. That's the top cover. This is the back part of that. My VTX still attached. So now I really have to machine this out of carbon fiber. I'm on my final uh, design prototype anyway. So now I'm ready for carbon fiber. This one is from dragonplate.com. It's a 12 by 12 inch by four millimeter thick carbon fiber plate. And this one cost $66 plus nine bucks for one side to be completely smooth but satin finish. This is just a plastic cover, it's underneath it, it's actually quite nice. But one side, I missed it in the description, but one side is completely textured. I prefer it to be smooth, but oh well, this is what I got. It's actually quite pricey, it's almost 90 bucks for this plate. But I'm gonna try to maximize it. I'm just gonna cut what I need and save the rest for other stuff, maybe a micro build in the future. And this is what I'm going to be using to cut it. Diamond bits. It's 1.6 millimeter. And 3 millimeter. They're from Precise Bits. This is what you want. You don't want the regular end mill you use for cutting metal. Because those will go dull super fast. And for me to cut this, I would have to make a fixture because I'm using a mini mill. So I have this fixture and I'm gonna need to cut. I'm just gonna get bolted on like that and it's gonna get bolted onto my CNC mill. Machine one side, stop the program, flip the part, bolt it back on, and machine one side. So there's that. And this is my machine. This is my TAG CNC mill, mini mill. It works. It's not the most powerful, it's not the most, it's not the biggest, but it works for me. I make parts with it all the time. So, there you go. I'm gonna cut this to size, cut that fixture, and I'll see you guys in a bit.
All right, this is the final product after machining. My gosh, it looks so nice. It's my first time machining carbon fiber. First time machining quad frame. As you can see the back, you know, the, the rough textured carbon fiber. I prefer it to be smooth, but oh well, that's what I got. The other side looks so nice. Look at that. Let's see if I can get in closer. Very clean cuts. That's why having a really sharp tool, also the proper tool, makes a difference. As you can see, that's the edges. I broke two tools making this frame. That's because it was digging in into that aluminum and I was machining it. So the way I fix it is just put some washers underneath and bolt it down. Washers down here and bolt it down so there's a little bit of air gap in between so it's not cutting the aluminum as much but yeah very nice now let's see how much this weighs now in SolidWorks I estimated this to be 55.3 grams now let's see natural 54.3 six wow that's man that's actually <laughs> that's super close and not only that it's it's a little bit lighter wow so 54.5 54.6 grams for the carbon and the top that goes on on this goes like that is about 20 grams Let's see how it compares to the 3D printed uh, version of it. Let's see if everything lines up. What's that? There's just some minor changes here. Like these slots are longer. Wow. Perfect fit. Everything matches. As you can see, the 3D printed frame is thicker. And made it thicker so it won't bend as much but now I have a carbon um, this 3D printed frame is actually 75 grams and this is 55 so it's actually 20 grams lighter and let's see if it's thicker it's gonna be hard to show this oh there you go it's actually very stiff already on this one it's super thick and this is solid plastic there's no infill in this one it's just solid infill and see this one so there is some flex to it seems like it's harder to flex it this way than this way yeah very good. Nice, now let me assemble this and we'll keep you guys updated.